What is up everyone? And yes, you're reading the title correctly, but we'll get into that in a second. Welcome to the video, and yes, I am reviewing a Series X, and thank you for tuning in. First off, let me take this next minute to talk about all the subscribing stuff. Ah, I'm just playing. Your time means more than that to me, and if you haven't noticed by the screen, by the time I have made this bad joke, we are practically already loaded into Assassin's Creed Valhalla from the menu screen. So for starters, pulling this thing out of the box is a cinch. I mean, it is extremely simple to hook up. Yes, it is a very heavy small package, but it's not as big as people describe. They're actually using a little bit of a different setup process that involves your cell phone now to get it all updated and ready to go. But by the time you're done, you're zipping through the menu screens pretty quickly. I mean, the graphics are pretty nice to look at. The loading is off the hook. I mean, you are in and out of screens. You're just zipping around everywhere effortlessly. It was amazing. So I want everybody to know the footage that's on screen right now is being captured directly off of the Series X using a capture card on my PC, and it is not being captured directly on the console itself. There's actually a large amount of eye candy in just this short film alone. I mean, look at all the grass and leaves and textures on the roof of this hut. The attention to detail is there also. As you move through the snow, you obviously make trenches and ruts as you move around. But also as you move around, the snow does collect on your pants and clothes just like it would in real life. Not to sound cheesy, but even the hair looks pretty good on the horses and the people. You can definitely see how the Series X is going to be a resolution powerhouse and it was doing this all pretty whisper quiet. So quiet that I didn't even think about it until this happened. That no signal part that just happened, that's when my Series X just decided to turn off and it hasn't turned on since. And to really hammer it home for you, here's some video of the actual console. At least I know if I want to click or train my cats, I'm set up and ready to go. But in all seriousness, I have no idea why this happened, as you can plainly see in the video that this console is the only thing on the shelf on a piece of glass. So no, it did not cook itself to death. Something else happened. It completely just turned off without warning. Now, before all the haters and naysayers run with this video and say, hey, look, an Xbox fan that was screwed over eight. I already know stuff happens. If you look at the title on the bottom right of the screen, it says stay positive. That's why I'm going to be an adult in this situation and just suck it up. This is the risk I took in buying a technology product day one. Sadly, if you do find yourself in a position where your Series S or Series X has bricked itself, Microsoft takes failures pretty seriously. With the good fortune that I've had to meet the right people here in the community, I was fortunate enough to be able to reach out to one of the hardware developers of the Series X. They did confirm Microsoft is keeping their eye out for any day one issues and that they will be taking any complaints seriously. So at this point in the video, I must say to be continued, this is only part one. Let's see how this is going to work out. But in my industry, we also push out new products, and sadly, we have new product failures ourselves. So I must take this actually with a grain of salt, because I understand shit happens. I mean, if I have to look at 2020 as a whole, if all I got is a failed Series X, I'm doing pretty good. So if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in seeing part two, be sure to subscribe down below. I try to keep it positive, so I'm not gonna tear Xbox down. Let's see how this works out in the long run. Really everyone, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate everybody who tunes into my content and subscribes, you're all like family to me. Till we meet again, my friends, remember, positivity starts with us, so let's make some change out there, keep it positive, game united, and stay safe.